All right, Rolando McClain, he was a high draft pick for Alabama. He was expected to become one of the NFL great linebackers. Butkus Award winner, drafted eighth overall in 2010 by the Raiders. But after three disappointing seasons and multiple arrests, Orlando unexpectedly retired this year. Did his upbringing in Decatur lead to his problems? Kyle Berger joins us here in the studio with a look at Orlando's high school years. Kyle. Don, Orlando McLean was a two-time All-State player at Decatur High School. He was widely considered one of the top linebackers in the country. Now his name is seen less in a box score and more in a police report. I went to his hometown of Decatur to find out where the trouble started. The Oakland Raiders select Rolando McLean. I always said uh, that I was going to be something, and I always knew I was going to be a football player. Rolando McLean was drafted with the eighth overall pick by the Oakland Raiders in the 2010 NFL Draft. He used his ability and strength as a ticket out of Decatur. A drive into the River City and through the streets shares a glimpse of his childhood. You just kind of know some of the areas that are that are tough and you don't really want to go to at night. Gangs were prevalent with the cash money boys at Austin High School and the homeboys at Decatur High School. Decatur is where McLean's NFL dream started and where they ended. He went to Decatur High School, graduated in 2007 before having an All-American career at Alabama. His coach, Jerry Adcock, saw him as a rare athlete who played both sides of the ball, linebacker and tight end. I remember conversation Coach Saban and I had, uh, I w we were down there, part of our staff was down there and we were looking in their, in their defensive room and they had all their calls, well they had about I think Coach Steele told me about 60% of the calls written on this huge board. And uh, Coach Saban came in and he asked me, he said, do you think he can learn this? If he can, he can play as a freshman. And I said, Coach, I, I think he can. He's very intelligent. And I said, uh, I know you run a, a very complicated scheme, but I think he'll be able to understand it. He was a good teammate. Uh, he, if you didn't get him the ball when he wanted it, he would complain. But, uh, you know, being a quarterback and a senior, I had to kind of put him in his place a little bit. I, I guess I can say that. He made, ended up going to the NFL and playing in Alabama. McLean came from a troubled home life. Teammate Jesse Perrin said it did not show on the field or in the locker room. He had tension with his mother, even going as far as receiving a restraining order against her in 2005. His father, who lived in a neighboring county, was awarded custody. McLean did not stay with his dad long because he would have been ineligible to play sports. Yeah, we kind of knew that uh, his home situation was, was pretty rough. We kind of, he actually had, a, you know, people I knew in my grade that he lived with for a while and they kind of took care of him and everything. McLean rotated between three families during his junior and senior years. One family, Kanitha and Tim Thomas, opened their home to Rolando. Their son, Caleb Thomas, became good friends with McLean during eighth grade football. McLean became part of the family. Well, I did call him Boo Boo, but I thought that was, you know, we, we didn't want to embarrass the baby, so I just shortened it to Boo. <laughs> the first night Rolando McLean stayed with the Thomases, he got in a fight with his mother. He left the house, gave Caleb Thomas a call, and told him to meet him at this intersection of Olive Street and Point Mallard Drive. Mm -hmm. He called you and what did he say? Um, need a place to stay? I said, yeah, sure, come on. I mean, it was that simple. It wasn't, wasn't a lot of talk. You know, I, I, don't, I didn't ask questions. And he, uh, he had the clothes on his back and his scholarship offer from the University of Alabama. That's all he brought with him. McLean chose to stay in the same room as Caleb. The two of them, they talk, and it's like they're solving the world's problems. And I would hear them in there talking about serious things. And he told Caleb, he said, man, I want what you have. And Caleb's like, what? <laughs> I don't have anything. He's like, yeah, you do. You've got a family. You've got a mom and a dad. The Thomases were with McLean the night he was drafted by Oakland. I wore number eight at the Kid High. I was a Red Raider there. Now I got drafted number eight to the Oakland Raiders. I will say this. I know that Boo did not want to go 
to Oakland. He was not thrilled about that. McLean stayed clean under the watchful eye of Nick Saban. Still, trouble didn't follow him to Oakland. It waited for him to return to Decatur. It's almost like they're five-year-olds again. Well, this boy picked on me, so I'm going to go get my big, you know, NFL football player friend to come and take care of this situation for me. He was arrested three times during the span of three years, all in Decatur, and once at this house for third degree assault. His latest arrest in April led to his retirement at the age of 23. I really look for him to kind of catch his breath right here and, and say, uh, okay, let, let, me get, let me get this thing where I need it to be. I, I, I would be shocked if we don't see him playing football again one day. And Don, since that retirement, he's looking to get his life back together. He's re-enrolled in Alabama. He's also been helping out the linebackers with the Crimson Tide. Yeah, he signed with the Ravens in March, retired in April. Uh, Ozzie Newsom was here in Birmingham uh, quite a bit this spring. It certainly has not closed the door on him coming back to the NFL. It'll be interesting, interesting to see if he can kind of get it together. Okay, now the question is, how many chances does someone get? Three times arrested, you know, does it keep getting more and more? I mean, if he can clean up, I but, guess why not? But who knew he was boo? Boo-boo. Now we know. All right, coming up, we have the story of a Hoover.